Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Um, I told you I'm going to produce one video for 3D refinement test. So the great refinement test is it is it is compulsory for any CFD project and I told you the importance of the great refinement test. So today I'm sh going to show you how to do this great refinement test. If you see here, I explained earlier and some of you already know. So we have different number of mesh. So at first what you will do, you will create some coarse mesh. So let's say this is 50,000 number of elements for your first set of mesh. Then you will generate another set of mesh. That means you need to refine the mesh a bit more. So let's say this is 150,000. So in this way I created 7 different sets of mesh. So the x-axis, keep in mind, this is the number of elements. The y-axis, this is the relative. So it could be pressure, it could be velocity, it could be temperature, or, or whatever it is, any variables. So you need to calculate this value. So see, what I got is, I calculated the pressure at outlet of my domain. So I found when it is 50,000 number of elements, the pressure is close to 1.5. So this is 1.05. Then if I increase the mesh, I can see it's increasing the velocity. The pressure at outlet, it's increasing. Then you can see it's little decrease and then again increased. And up to this point, it's quite stable. So from this point to this point, the solution was changing um, due to the mesh. But from here, you see it's not changing that much. But we see from this point to this point little uh, you know deviations so we wanted to confirm it so what I did I calculated the absolute pressure the other variable it was the total relative pressure and this is the absolute pressure and what we found for the same number of elements we got the mesh is stable at this point so we can say that okay our mesh is stable from here so we need to use this number of mesh for our simulation for our projects what you are doing I found during the class you have done with the simulation and then you are doing the grid refinement test this is wrong approach definitely this is not correct you need to do the grid refinement at first when you will see that your solution is stable then use this mesh otherwise I told you you will get very poor marks now um, you are confused how you will get this value right so you know you need to define the mesh you will say all you will set all the boundary conditions everything once you have done with the simulation that means once your solution is converged then stop it and check any variable so i will show you uh, that on here so i have um, this solution it's already converged so i just clicked on this results so you see I will get this window here um, so this is my wall All right. what I can do I can calculate uh, the pressure maybe at outlet if you want you can do that so this is easy let me uh, just make it a bit transparent so maybe I'll use point 0.8 click on apply so it's something like that at first I will calculate the pressure at outlet so go to the contour right so i will calculate the pressure at outlet so let's say outlet one so select the locations from here so outlet one i will check the global pressure at the outlet one if i click on apply you can see the minimum pressure i got is this the maximum pressure is this so i will take this value the maximum pressure at outlet is 11.1055 pascal so this is for first set of mesh so let's say this is for 50,000 mesh. So in this way, now you will write down this now the max pressure or the minimum pressure or the pressure variation, the pressure drop, the difference between minimum and maximum. So suppose this is for 50,000 number of nodes or elements, then refine your mesh, maybe 100,000, 150,000, run the simulation again and calculate this pressure. Or you can calculate the velocity see what is the velocity there so you got the velocity at this outlet it is 4.43 other thing is what you can do you can create any plan 
so, so go to the location you know how to create the plan click on the plan and if you draw the plan in xy direction so let's say how it looks like so maybe maybe yeah just see so suppose you want to calculate your pressure or the velocity here so just create any plan and make sure that for every number of when you will refine your mesh you need to calculate the pressure or velocity whatever it is the location should be exactly same so you can write down this value if you are calculating your pressure or velocity here write down okay this is the you know jet position on the xy plane and then go to the contour say this is plane one and calculate the pressure click on apply okay so we said this is the plane one yeah if you calculate the velocity let's say this is the velocity let's say we got the velocity this is actually showing the global so let's calculate the local we'll always calculate the local pr pressure or velocity so we see that the velocity is 3.8 on here this is the local one and similarly the pressure um, calculate on this yeah you see this is 3.43 pascal so if you calculate the pressure at outlet or any specific plan uh, make sure that you are calculating the local pressure at that section so that um, will give you the value so I believe you're confused with this part how to get this value so you will get the value from you know, CFD post once you have done with the simulation I believe uh, now you understand the problem so that means we got the value and now we will refine the mesh we will run it again and we will calculate this value again and by using you know Excel we can draw this plot so that's it